Hey guys, it's Kaylee. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full coverage makeup tutorial. This is going to be a full face look on the makeup that I have been wearing in my past like five ish videos. I've basically been re-wearing the same makeup look over and over again because I love it so much. And you guys have been requesting in the comments section of my previous videos to actually film the look for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take you through the full face tutorial. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing that I do is fill in my eyebrows. I use the Eyebrow Stylist by Catrice Cosmetics. This is in 020 Date with Ashton. And I'll just hold a mirror up really closely so that I can see exactly where I need to fill it in. And I actually go all the way into the inner corners now. I am able to, you know, use this brow pencil all over. The only thing is when I get closer to the outer corners, of course it's not nearly dark enough. And especially because I don't have hairs over there. So it ends up looking really light if I just use this on its own. But basically what I like to do is just fill in the general shape of the brow and then I'll go in actually after my face makeup and my eye makeup is all done and I'll use uh, something well you'll see at the near the end of the video what I use to basically fill in this outer corner area of the eyebrow to make it look a little darker and more uniform. So the next thing that I do is prime my eyes for my eyeshadow look and the one that I am using today is from Benefit Cosmetics and this is called the Stay Don't Stray in Light Medium. It's very easy to blend out. I just use my fingertip and I get it all the way into the inner corner up to the brow and then blend it outwards. I'll be using the Smashbox Cover Shot Matte Eye Palette. I love a little holographic thing. It reminds me of like a Pokemon card. The really good Pokemon cards the legendary Pokemon. So I actually use all four of these shades right here. I don't even touch these. The Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty. And I don't know what it is about this brush, but I cannot do this look as smoothly if I'm not using this brush. Like anything else just doesn't work right, quite right. So the first thing that I do is I go into this eyeshadow right here, which is the lightest of the three browns. So I just bring this through the entire crease, inner to outer corner, and then I blend it upwards towards my brow bone, but I try to leave like a little bit of space so that way I'm not completely, you know, bringing this all the way up to the actual brow and then it's like way too much brown, you know? So using the same brush, I am now going to pick up a mixture of these two right here. This is like a neutral taupe and then this is a darker warm brown starting from the outer corner near the lash line and then just slowly work my way into this area where my like the end of my brow bone is because my actual crease is right here but I'm putting this a little bit above that so that I can create a shadow under my brow bone. You see my brow bones like that? I actually go in kind of heavy with this stuff because I really like it. Alright, so next thing that I do is eyeliner. This is my favorite and it completely rubbed off because I use it so much but it's from Starlux Pro and it's just a black liquid pen. So I like this one because it's smaller. I feel like I can get better precision and create a better line with it. So then I'm gonna do eyelashes and these are my favorite. I actually just went out last night and bought more because I ran out. So this is from Kiss and they are the uh, shy style eyelashes. All right, so we're gonna use the Benefit tweezers today to apply these. Oh, oops. I accidentally like took off some of the eyelashes at the end trying to get them off, <laughs> but that's okay because I was going to cut them, give them a little trim anyway. A little bit smaller. I'm going to use my Duo Brush On Adhesive. There's hair attached to it. I just do a very, very thin layer. And I 
to wait 20 seconds. So a little tip for you guys, right as you put your lashes on um, and you kind of place them where they need to be, before the glue dries, what you want to do is just gently use your tweezer to pull the lashes towards your eyelid. And what that's going to do is help them to stand more straight up instead of sticking like that straight forward. So that way you can get the most you know, out of your lashes and you can actually see what they look like. What I like to do for the face is to first start out with an oil. Everything has hair on it, I swear. This is the Polish Choice Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster. This is actually a really great product to use if you have dry skin. Just a little goes a long way. And I'm just gonna gently rub this into my skin. I find that it actually helps my makeup to go on better. So if you happen to have any dryness at all whatsoever, this is just gonna completely get rid of that. This has been my favorite primer. It's from Smashbox. It's called the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the original one. So I really like this because, you know, it has a very silicone-y, silky texture to it. Like if I have any bumps or anything like that, it'll just blend right over them, fills in my lines any wrinkles and it just keeps the makeup on lasting a lot longer so for foundation what I've been doing I know this is gonna sound like a lot to you guys but it works I use a mixture of these two right here this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation so the reason I have to mix these is because one of them is too light and then one of them is too yellow so when I mix them together it's like the perfect shade for me uh, I use number seven cream and number five fair. So I'm gonna actually go in with the lightest shade first. And I just put that on with the doe foot applicator. Gotta make sure I get my nose too. Okay. And then I'll just do a quick run through with the darker, more yellowy toned shade. over the same places. To blend it all in, I like to use my EcoTools blending sponge because it is my favorite blending sponge that I've ever used and I have used quite a lot of them. The reason why I like it so much is because, if you guys can see, it actually is kind of like cut off right there. I like that I can, it's very, very squishy. I can squeeze it and kind of manipulate the shape. Love this thing. So I just do patting motions to blend it in. This is by far my most fullest coverage foundation that I own. So anytime that I'm filming, this is my go-to. Once that's all blended in, the next thing I do is concealer. So I do a mixture. So the first one I'll use is the yellowy shade. It's the Smashback Studio Skin Waterproof Concealer in Light Medium. And I only put this under my eyes because I just feel like the this concealer just really does a good job of covering, you know, dark under eye circles. And it just makes my concealer look more flawless, but I don't really have anything else that I need to cover that the foundation didn't already cover, so I only put that under my eyes, and I'll blend that in first. Then I'll go in with my lighter tone concealer. This is Light Beige. It's the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer from Catrice Cosmetics, and by the way, both are waterproof. So I feel like they very long lasting and very full coverage. So I put that on under the eyes, also down the nose, on the forehead, cupid's bow and chin. So with this lighter co color, what I'm basically doing is highlighting and making things appear brighter. And I'm also cleaning up 
my eyeliner with this as well, making it more of like a straighter edge. Then immediately before my concealer starts to settle into my fine lines and wrinkles, I set it with this powder right here. This is called the Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Powder. I'll just dip my blending sponge in like you guys saw, tap off the excess so it's not too much, and I will apply this everywhere that I put my concealer. And it'll immediately just mattify it down and prevent it from creasing. So then I do all of the bronzing and contouring on my face. For my nose, what I like to use is this. It's the Maybelline Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer in 60 Deep. I start at the very tip of my eyebrow, and then I work it all the way down. And then I kind of like draw like a little cat nose <laughs> on the tip of my nose, like a little triangle. Again, I'm gonna use my blending sponge to blend it out, but look, this is another reason why I like it so much. I just squeeze it, and then it just comes to like a really perfect tip, and I'll just pat this in. For my face, what I like to do is a mixture of these two right here. So one's darker, one's lighter. This darker shade I like to use as a contour, and I will basically create shadows on my face with this. This is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. So I do use different brushes because I don't want to apply too much of this. So I use this, I think it's from MAC. Oh no, it's from Sigma. I think it says 168 on it. I just pick up a tiny little bit, tap off the excess, and then I put this right under my cheekbones. I just do like a really light, thin line of this. Put a little on the tip of my nose too. A little on the tip of my chin. So now I'm picking up a different brush. Oh, I brought out here a cheaper alternative. So this one's from Eco Tools. I like to use. It's the full powder brush. But what I'm going to use today is this one. Pretty much the same thing. This is the uh, It Cosmetics Brilliant Powder Brush. I'll be using the number 7 bronzer in caramel. This is the most perfect shade. Definitely my most used bronzer. So I put this right along my cheekbones and I blend it outwards. Then pick up a little more and I put it really close to my ear and blend it down along the jawline. And the reason I do this is just to give you know some more color to my face and to help it not look so square and angular. It just kind of softens you know my lower half of the face, my jawline area a little bit more. So I just lightly do that. It's a new thing that I've been doing really liking. And then I'm just gonna bring this around my hairline too. Make sure you leave this middle area open. I'm gonna connect it through the temple. So this is the blush that I've been using. I love it so much because it is more of like a reddish tone. It's very warm. It's called Sun Basque. It's a sheer tone shimmer blush from MAC. So my favorite way to apply blush is with this right here. This is the Finishing Kabuki brush from Eco Tools. So I'll just pick up a, a lot of it. <laughs> and I'll just put it on my cheekbones, working my way back. I probably, I apply the, I apply this pretty heavily because like I said, you know, it kind of softens my angular, angular features a little bit more. For highlight, I have been nonstop using this. It's the Casey Holmes collaboration with Smashbox, the Spotlight Palette in Pearl. All three. <laughs> and then I apply it above the blush and the bronzer onto my cheekbone. So there we go. So pretty. I put it also on the very tip of my nose. And then I'll bring whatever's left, so, you know, through the center. Mascara to blend my natural lashes into the falsies. This is my favorite. It's by Julep. 
Buildable Lengthening Mascara. So good. Never clumps. Yeah, this is, this mascara is seriously the shit. You have to try it. So you can see, it just like immediately volumized my lashes like so crazy. With one coat. That's what's amazing about it. You don't have to go in and like do insane layers to get the voluminous length that you want. For the lower lash line, I do first this one right here. This is the 234 Smoky Shader Brush from Zoeva. And I work this so far down. And what that does is it helps to open the eye, make it appear larger and wider. But you really have to be careful with this. You can't be doing this with black eyeshadow. You have to pick a very light shadow, something that's you know, not going to be too dark, but not too light either because then you won't be able to see it. Then I do a mixture of these darker ones right there. I'm going to keep this closer to the lash line. I'm going to take that lighter shade with a random paintbrush painting and we're going to paint in the inner corner I just like using this because it just disperses the product very gently and lightly just very quickly to find these lower lashes all right so the trick for my um, eyebrows, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I use the Makeup Forever Brow Liner, and this is in um, number 30. You know, make them pop since they kind of faded away after I did all that makeup. But it just makes it so much easier because I don't have to guess you know where I'm supposed to put this because I already laid the shape down earlier. For my lips, I think what I'm going to do is something on the lighter side, but if you guys have ever seen me wearing a glossy, more like rosy lip in my past videos, what I did was used this one. It's the uh, Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner. Buxom? Buxom. Buxom? Buxom? Buxom. And this is in Hush Hush. And then over that, I used my A Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi. And then the book some buxom full-on lip polish in sandy but for today I'm gonna do like the lighter version of that so we're gonna first go in with stealth and this is what I wore in my giveaway video by the way um, we're gonna go in with stealth from buxom plump line lip liner first buxom buxom can somebody tell me what it is A Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi. I'm going to use my finger to tap it in. I just like this because it adds moisture, you know. I hate it when my lips are dry. And then the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in Samantha. So it's just a little lighter than the one in Sandy. I just really like glossy lips lately. Since I unfortunately ran out of my favorite setting spray, which is the one by Makeup Forever, it's the Miss and Fix, this one has become my next favorite. It is the Slay All Day setting spray, and this is in the scent Tea Ginger, and it is from Gerard Cosmetics. So, it's good. It smells good. I still like my Makeup Forever one the most, but this one's pretty good too. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair since it's a mess right now, <laughs> and I'll be right back. All right guys, so that is it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful and you liked it, then go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.